Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, the classic music, man. Always loved hearing that classic music. Hey, everyone. This is Luke from the Destiny team. Hey, Luke. Good to see you. The it. final shape is the culmination of a 10-year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome, took oh, you to I'm the gonna... moon, there Venus, Mars, the say, reef, let's... and beyond. Oh, it's a journey that'll good. end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. <laughs> but facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2. Yep. And it's definitely not the end of Destiny. Mm -hmm. After you face the Witness, we're going to tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2. Oh, really? And beyond. We'll see you soon. Okay. So they're not spoiling anything. They're like, oh, you're going to know after you beat the Witness. Okay. Interesting. The Final Shape has been an amazing project to work on. The amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements coming together has been inspirational. I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I think that we're gonna have a pretty big impact and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. Oh, please. Can it be more than a glimpse? Oh my, wait, 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 wait. What the f Okay, first of all, that's sick. Why do I see multiple different... I guess this might be... Oh, uh, this is just development footage. I guess maybe it's now the... Okay, acrobatic. Wait. Hold the fuck up. Can we use, like, multiple subclasses at once? What the fuck is that? Bro, what the... Okay, that's definitely shuriken. Okay. Wait. Okay, wait a minute. How is he using multiple different supers? He's going back and forth between the blade dash thing and the first thing. That was that was the stasis super. What? The, what is going on? Grapple. Okay. What? Okay. Is that like something we are that's going gonna... into the pale heart of the traveler, and the traveler has chosen the you, the that? guardian, to be its champion? It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image of a guardian with light armor and dark okay. armor. We're okay, like, we really need shit. this in the final shape. This no. is the ultimate form of no being way. a guardian to wield light and darkness at the same time. We Did build really prismatic like... exactly to be that. Oh my god! Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where okay. you can combine certain class abilities from different damage types You're, together. Oh my. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witness is Dude, manipulating the energies crap, like this, but the witness is not a master of light busted. and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. Holy in prismatic, shit. underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage yeah, with either light that. damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love Transcendence because okay. you do these cool motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunters are going to oh. do this cool, like... Oh, yeah, the nice thing. The Titan that. when we're just go. While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. Titans, Strand, and Arc. For the Warlock, Stasis, and Void together. Oh my god. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence. Oh so you can loop them together, one after the other. <laughs> That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have oh more God. build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of combinations. 2,000. 300, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, Jesus. I don't know, really... I'm just the art director. I was going to say, they, I think that Prismatic number, feels damn, like bro. you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game breaking, I'm not going to lie. A, a little bro. a little bit? I mean, if we're only able to access this in the Traveler, that's fine by me. You're going to be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm going to be here all night. 
yeah, no kidding, bro. just about insane. the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multiple powers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these Bro, subclasses that really resonate with people. Insane, and now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian feel very uniquely I mean, you. This like really like opens up the doors class, for okay unexpected, like okay really this. wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble and blowing right. them up. Yeah. And then we're like, but wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens and then you blow them up as well. And it's like, okay, I didn't think I could ever do those two things at the same time. And you're telling me I can do as much as I want? You can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and right. now your gunpowder gamble's like fully charged, right? Oh and so like certain God, interactions I think get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects a little bit a little bit more permissive, a little bit a little bit looser. Yeah. So like when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges and then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control, or you can throw a Devour. And so you're, you know, Dude, jumping you in, Lightning Surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating you Devour. That gives you infinite well, sustain, effectively, to stay in the fight. Like as a there Titan, you can just this, quickly surely. start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. This it's a very like fun, destructive I have to. build that you can just, just like destroy everything around you. And it, it, it's well, super fun. Is... There was this moment for me where I was like, wait a minute, I could send out Threadlings and have a Bleak Watcher. Oh. It just creates these moments of escalation oh within the combat. God. And I think that's really exciting for Again, me. I, if you combine Bleak Watcher this, and Feed the Void, but... you consume your grenade to throw your Bleak Watcher out there. And so it's you know locking stuff down with stasis, doing crowd control. You can clean that stuff up pretty easily with you know an Arcane Needle melee, which has three charges. Those ability kills will activate Devour, which gives you more grenade energy every time Devour activates, so it lets you loop your Bleak Watcher. And so you can have like multiple Bleak Watchers out on the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just like launching your cool strand melees out and everything's dying and it's great. Bro, this, is, this is the most insane shit they've ever Embracing done. the challenge of like, how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? like. How do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together? I'm excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Oh my god. I got more questions. This is uh more. thinking like like ability mashups like if you use your in the final oh, shape we're going to be making 
these new exotic class items. Oh, new exotic, oh, class items, okay. These new, new exotic class items Wait. allow you to exotic steal class items. perks from other exotics and combine two perks together into one single exotic. You're the perks joking. that come on them are actually random rolled. One thing that is gonna be fun is to chase these perks and then find oh different God, combinations Bro, that so work wait, really well. Those exotic class items can come. Bro, that's insane shit. These new class items are all about prismatic and making that feel good. So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They the also look crafting. so good. And I love the with oh, these class so items, dope. we wanted them to stand out as special. They have these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are gonna let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build, a roll in the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite. And also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. Oh we want it to feel a little broken. This is broken, what the fuck It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. Wait, that you want that guy. to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. <laughs> it just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. They look amazing. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. Yeah, I tell you what, Bill but on top of that, the like gameplay the, the with the basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics Destitute, and even from classes that aren't you adds this like element this. of spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds. Oh, the exotic class items are ran Bro, the hunter is sick, that cloak. That's actually dope. And they run random rules, so whatever... So it's literally just two random exotic rules. Dude, that's actually insane. I love so Like, it's really new, really, like... Dread are this new witness faction. The Dread. Lovely. When you oh, see these oh, new no. characters, oh, no. not only do they look unique and new, they look terrifying. but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. Oh, and you've seen a member of the Dread before. Yeah, grim. No you kidding, might remember no. seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Right. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This is like the embodiment Bro, of the witness in like these new legit. enemies. With on this. this is insane. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun yeah. bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> Wait, come on, that's awesome. It does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. Oh yeah, it's true, because heartbeats don't, They can yeah. screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. Oh my it, God. Something that immediately That's appealed so to the team and up. made us think, we have to do this. So we have to make this character. And slows abilities. That, that is terrifying. The husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredible 
incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. Oh, God damn. What is that? They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. The geist? A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> the weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show insane. like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The fact that oh, you can get suspended up. and frozen in place just adds the a big new dynamic the to the, the fight. Across the arena thing, that's fucked up. The Weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete, powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back and like snaps and like pulls you towards that character. As one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. Yeah, holy shit. More games like cool. We're really excited about everything oh, that we've been that. doing for the final shape. Yeah. It just feels like there's some, a like, really cool weapons? through line through all of this. It's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. Dude. We wanted to deliver something that's really like, some fun and exciting weapons. and engaging for players. I want to see, like, it some... is amazing to see Bro. this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality oh, in that's, the final that's shape. A new that's a new uh, uh, cutscene frame. Zavala going in. We need to go. Keep moving. Go. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler oh, new, uh, to trailer. turn their threat oh, into shit. our annihilation. Oh, that's... Imagine that's how we'll get Transcendence, that little... That's insane, that's cool. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Frozen trick mine grenade? Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> that was clean! I know my mouth has not had like, stopped closing this in her mind. I'm just such. Take this power, Guardian. Be brave in dark places. Who's that talking? We are the light of hope. Who is that talking? Is that, is that like Elsie, the, the stranger? I guess. I don't know who they're talking about. That's not what's for us. That thing's crazy. God, Bungie, you are, wait, what is that? Pyramid vessel exotic ship. I didn't get, wait, what was that? The, the exotic ship thing, what was that? I saw that, the pyramid vessel exotic ship, what was that? Oh, something back to As back? As the final shape approaches, oh, into the light trailer. and the okay. of the Sweet. witness surge at the borders of the city, Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection <laughs> back into circulation. Oh, yeah. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. Good luck. Careful with that. Weapons we once deemed heretical. 
we now see is desperate measures. I know you'll use this well. Fight well. Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. Is I can't wait to see what you do with that. Magnificent. Nice. This is this is too much. Dexy creative. Yep, super I black shader being it. back. Love it. Bro, this this is too much. Oh my god. Yeah, no kidding. Holy crap, guys. I There were a bunch of things on my Destiny 2 bingo card for this, and that was the transcendent thing was not on it again i don't know who gave bungie permission to cook but i'm all for it freaking june cannot come fast enough well thanks for uh holy shit thanks for watching the video guys make sure to follow me on uh, kick and here on youtube that way you guys know when uh, i go live next i should be over playing destiny right now so if you're just at this point in the video head over there See you next time back on the screens in your faces.